Welcome back to Chapter 6, Reference Tabs. We are going to be looking at citations and bibliographies in this particular tutorial. All right, going back to the document that we were working in before, um, we had our table of contents and we updated our um, different side headings. Now let's talk about how we go ahead and add or insert citations. We're going to go to our references and we want to make sure underneath the citations and bibliography ribbon, we want to make sure um, we're going to use MLA style. That's what you use here at Stillman, the English department. In college, depending on what field of study you go into, you could use APA or MLA. I know in my business classes is we used APA. All right, so we're going to look at MLA. And I'm going to put my cursor at the end of eruption stage. And then I'm going to click on insert citation. Now you're going to get a choice between add new source or add new placeholder. Add new source will put the source right directly into your document. Add new placeholder will save a place for it, but it doesn't put it in the document. Um, what it will do is it will put it up in the manage sources up here. So I click on that. Um, it will put it in, in there. All right, so that's where it's going to put it. So right now we're just going to make up the citation. So I'm going to click on insert citation, add new source. And um, the type of source will be a book. Um, the author, you have to watch, it might be a corporate offer, author. If you do a corporate uh, author, you can put it on this line. If it's, ju it's just a regular author, you're going to put it on this line. Let's say it's a corporate author. author. So we're going to write, um, we'll write John Smith. Title of the book will be, um, Exploring Volcano World. The year we'll put 2012. The city of the publication was Chicago. Publisher was Maximum Publishing. The medium, um, we're not going to fill in. So I have everything filled in for my type of source. I'm going to click OK. And if you notice now, according to APA style, it put in the, the, the citation right here. We're going to go down. We're going to try to do another one. We'll go here. We're going to insert a citation. Notice now that John Smith shows up here. So if I want John Smith to be put in there again, I would click on it. And there it goes. It, it adds it right in so I don't have to retype it. Now, let's say I have a new citation. I'm going to add a new source. Let's say this time the source is, I don't know. Um, let's say it's a website. Click on website. The author is um, Carlson. We'll put Roger Carlson. Name of the web page is Scientific Scientific Review. The year is 2015. The month is, we'll say, April. The day is the fourth. Year access, that's the year that we actually looked at it, 2019. Month access, we'll say four. Day, we'll say 21. And we're not going to worry about the medium. And then now we have everything in there, so we're going to say, okay. Now if you notice, Carlson appears here. And we're going to add one more. So we're going to go to insert citation. And now you notice Carlson shows up here. John Smith shows up. We're going to add a new source. We'll put in um, oh, we'll do uh, Tom All right, um, and let's change this back to a book. You notice how everything changes. 
what to put in types of volcanoes is the name of the book. The year was 2017. The city it was published in was New York. Publisher was Fordham Publishing. Don't worry about the medium. We're going to click OK. All right, so we go back to our insert citation, and there we go. And so if I scroll through here again, let's say I use the same one here. I'm going to go to insert. Go. You notice it's putting it in throughout my document. Then let's say one goes here. There we go. So now we have our citations in our document. And now we're going to go to the end of our document. And we're going to put our cursor at the end. We're going to go to insert and we're going to put in a blank page. And on that blank page, we're going to go back to references. We are going to put in not a bibliography, but a works cited. And works cited co coincide with APA. So I'm going to click on APA. And instead of doing bibliography, we're going to do works cited. And if you notice now that our works cited is put in, we know that just like a bibliography, we have to change um, the top margin to two inch. Click OK. And then we're going to um, put this on double spacing. And now we have our work cited. So there we go. But notice we have a problem. What did I forget to do? So we're going to go back down here and we're going to go to control Z. And I'm going to go back into my document. I'm going to go to my layout because I made an error. All right. I changed the top margin, right, to two. But instead of changing this to this section, I mean, I just used this section, which changed my whole document. I need to say this point forward and then click OK. And then now I can put this on double spacing. And then now if I go up, notice that it did not affect the rest of my margins. Now, also I note, notice that I put in John Smith instead of Smith John. Well, I can go edit this. I can go up to references. I can go into my manage sources. And here is my... Um, John Smith, and I can click over here and click Edit. And then I can go in here and type in Smith, John, OK, yes, and then OK. I'm going to close out. And you notice now I need to go in and update my bibliography, and now it is updated. I need to select this and put this back on double spacing. So now I have fixed my my error for my work cited. There we go. So now we have talked about in this chapter, in this section, we have talked about inserting our citations and how to make corrections in the source manager. That's it. Uh, have fun working with your citations.